Scientists are trying to use data from past newspapers to predict future catastrophes. And then they will probably make a terrible CBS show about it. Hey everybody, I'm Trace. And I'm Anthony. Microsoft has teamed up with the Technion Israel Institute of Technology to create a system that uses stories from old newspapers to help find patterns that could predict future disasters. So basically, they took every issue of the New York Times from 1986 to 2007, they put it into their system, and they had it search for triggers and patterns for disasters that we might miss. So the system actually found something interesting. There were these droughts in Bangladesh in 1973, and then a cholera epidemic in the country a year later. So scanning ahead, the system found more droughts in 1983, and then another cholera outbreak in 1984. The system can now potentially watch for future droughts in Bangladesh and send alerts about potential outbreaks up to a year in advance. The system can also take in information from a huge number of websites, including Wikipedia, the most accurate source of information in history. So luckily the team is also tweaking the algorithm <laughs> to find out the likelihood of the patterns it sees and the importance of sources so it won't bug out every time somebody trolls a Wikipedia entry. Yeah, about that, makes, that makes sense. That's really good. Yeah. So this, this is kind of cool, but what's interesting is the only example of the system working they give in their research paper cholera. Is, is the cholera thing. Yeah. So, like, really, out of 20 years, you didn't find anything else? That you could predict. Right. Yeah. yeah, it does. it's still guesswork. I mean, it's, it's based on algorithms and math, which is great. It's really good, big data, mm -hmm. you know, always important to do some data mining. But it's really, it's like self-determination. It's complicated systems. We can predict how disease is going to spread. It's very simple. Yeah. And it kind of does it the same way every time. But human social patterns aren't always quite the same, right? Right. So you wonder if you, if you take this out, what other kinds of things they're looking to try to predict. Are you looking to try to predict specific crimes, like in Ooh, Minority Report? Yeah, Are you looking yeah. to predict... Uh, sports. Sports. Pop culture stuff. Is right. a movie going to be good? Is right. It, you know, is it going to do well? If so-and-so's in it and it has this co-star and mm -hmm. that plot, all this data, is the movie going to do good? Right. And it's, it's kind of interesting because, like you said, diseases are traceable patterns. You know the sort of signs of an outbreak. But you can't really predict human behavior, can you? Like, what would they need to add to the mix? Well, what if, I mean, if they added social media, they mm -hmm. added Facebook, they added Twitter. So back in 2010, some researchers analyzed this exact thing where they looked at Twitter, they looked at your tweets and your location data, and they found out that they could predict if you were gonna be sick eight days before you actually got there. That's kind of interesting. Like, they, you could tweet out, oh, this guy in the office is sick, or I'm feeling tired. Right. Or, and then it would kind of check. Say, oh, so-and-so's probably gonna be sick in the next eight days. That's pretty cool. I wonder how much of this is us looking for patterns that where right. they don't exist and right. us training computers to look for patterns and then mm -hmm. kind of how much of their results are just like, yay, we did it. How mm -hmm. much of it is coincidental, you know? Correlation versus causation yeah. kind of stuff. Especially because I had this friend in college who had this kind of like mini nervous breakdown because of stress and we came home one day and he was poring over the last 20 years of lottery numbers <laughs> to try to predict the next week's lottery Trying numbers. Trying to find a pattern. Yeah, yeah, and he was putting more time into that into school because he believed in the patterns so hmm. much. And I have to wonder if we're not kind of reaching when we're looking for a computer that can predict the things same like thing, this. Kind of, yeah, finding correlation where there isn't anything. There. Exactly. What do you guys think? Will Precog be in charge of everything in the future, Minority Report style? Ooh, I hope not. And how much should we trust the pattern-finding skills of computers? Hmm. Let us know and subscribe so you can get more D-News every day of the week. Thanks for watching, everybody. Mm -hmm.